Old Floyd back at it again, y'all. Gosh, oh my, that old Floyd slick, man. And look, Leonard Ellaby told y'all at the Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia presser, he said, listen, Oscar De La Hoya been sleep at the wheel, and we been taking his fighters. Bottom line. And it looks like they on track to take another one. Now, for those of you who don't know, Ryan Garcia has taken this thing to court as far as trying to get out of the clutches of Golden Boy, right? Now, Golden Boy does have a contract with Ryan Garcia that goes well into 2026. But if it's left up to Ryan Garcia, he'll get out of that. Now, he's accusing Golden Boy uh, of not fulfilling certain contractual agreements. And Golden Boy is fighting back, trying to keep their fighter in check and in line, man, and so they can continue to pimp, buddy, for sure. Um, I ain't mad at Floyd, you know what I'm saying? I think uh, Ryan Garcia at this point in his career, if he doesn't try and retire early, like he told us in a past interview, is an asset to any uh, promotional company. The kid is extremely marketable, and, um, you know, it makes sense to go after Ryan Garcia if you can um acquire him for sure uh and de la hoya simply says that he was happy for ryan um once he's seen the picture that was his actual response um I, I believe he um responded under the picture itself that he was just happy for ryan garcia and that just led me to believe that it probably was under uh, uh oscar de la, it got under oscar de la hoya's skin and for ryan garcia you know the history between Floyd and, and Oscar, um, you know, that's that's like fraternizing with the enemy for the most part. And I think it sends a big message uh, to Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy and to the rest of the world uh, that, hey, you know, I'm here with Floyd and I potentially could be in business and, in, you know, what I mean, uh, uh, under a promotional contract with Floyd. Um like I told you guys in a previous video I did on my channel, man, immediately after the Tank Davis fight, when he was completely abandoned um, and Floyd actually uh, spoke on it, a lot of people spoke on it. Um, that particular video did like over 140,000 views and I th a lot of you guys agree with me. I didn't think it was far fetched to um, think that Ryan would jump ship on Golden Boy right over into the arms of Floyd Mayweather and the money team. Uh, you could see the love and, and appreciation appreciation that they showed for Tank Davis. It almost felt like Ryan Garcia could see that and he wanted to be a part of that. And now he could potentially has an opportunity, depending on how this thing plays out, to be a part of that. Um, uh, you know, listen... Uh, I like Ryan. I think he's a stand-up kid, um, and I think you know, making uh, making this public and fraternizing with the enemy at this point in time that sends a direct message. But you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section, man. Ryan Garcia, Floyd Mayweather, is Ryan going to jump ship? Will he be the newest member of the TMT uh, PBC Al Heyman family soon? And in the near future, you let me know. I'm tired as hell, man. I'm going to bed. So all I got for y'all, Big T.O. Heavy Bag. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.